here's my 1985 VF700S Honda Sabre that I just picked up for 500 bucks. Uh, it's not running, but it will turn over, and uh, it's been sitting at a motorcycle shop. And, uh, you know, it's been picked of a few parts here and there, and some other stuff has gone on with it. But it's a good bike. It just needs to be brought back to life. But not in the uh, sense of totally restoring it as is. I am going to turn this bike into a cafe style bike. Nobody has really done this, as far as I know, to a V45. Uh, partly because it's a little tricky with this tank assembly, the way that it comes down and meets in with the side cover. If you pull off the side cover, it just kind of gets kind of ugly. So I'm just going to start fresh. I'm going to take all this crap off and pretty much redesign the entire bike and uh, get some clip-on bars on there, put some minimal lighting on it, cafe seat, uh, gas tank, might even make my own and uh, this will be uh, a project that will be ongoing mm, probably several videos worth of stuff happening here. So the first thing that's going to happen is I'm going to pull off all this extra crap that I don't need. Here we go. All right, here we go. Time to take off some stuff. Seat, side covers, front side covers, tank. Of course, most of this stuff was unbolted when I got the bike. The pet cock was missing. There's something that's supposed to go in the bottom of the tank there missing. Quite a few things missing in action. Uh, but, you know, that's what you get with a $500 bike that's been at a bike shop. And uh, as time goes by, somebody needs a part, and they go, Oh, yeah, there's that uh, 85 Sabre over there. Just pull it off from that. I'm already liking the way this is looking. <laughs> you take all this stuff off. Take the rear pegs off. It's going to be a single-seater. Uh, I might even do some rear set controls later, but uh, we're going to leave them like they are for now. And uh, it's got a dual top tube right here, which is going to be a bit challenging with the tank because most aftermarket tanks are made for a single top tube and they go over the top of it. They're just built like this. This thing is really wide, so I'm going to have to get creative with that uh, with my own fiberglass work. But what I'd like to do is just the classic, you know, cafe tank that comes down, rounded off in the back, real square looking, single seat. Take all this business off the back, do a minimal fender on the back, maybe even hardly any fender at all. I don't know, tiny little tail light, minimal turn signals, clip on bars, drop these uh, instruments down, get rid of that square headlight, put on a round headlight, take the horns away, hide a little teeny horn somewhere else, get rid of these crash bars, uh, stuff like that. And just a little at a time, turn this thing into a cool cafe bike. Okay, time to start peeling some parts off this bike. It's a little cold out here today. It's in the uh, high 30s, I think. We got snow here the other day. Take a look. That doesn't mean anything. Snow in North Carolina. Wow. Anyway, going to start taking some stuff off the bike and getting it stripped down to where it's just a bare bones, uh, minimal kind of thing, and then get figuring out my gas tank and my seat. Doggy across the street is excited. So anyway, here we go.
that's a little more like it. Now we're down to the bare bones. A lot of crap stripped off here. A lot of stuff that held on side covers and stuff like that. Uh, up here on the instrument cluster, I think I'll see if I can lower this down to here. There's a bunch of electronics in here. I think I'm just going to do away with all that crap. I want this thing to be kind of purist minimal, you know, not, not too much going on as far as the electronics. And I don't need to have an indicator to tell me if my brake light went out or my headlight went out because I'm kind of like, you know, pretty aware of that kind of stuff. As a rider, you get on your bike and you do a quickie look around and go, hey, my lights aren't working. I need to fix that. I don't need some idiot light to tell me that. So all the idiot lights are going to go away and it's just going to be the two gauges mounted right about here. And uh, on the triple tree here, there's a lot of junk uh, that can be cut off because um, I'm going to move the ignition switch to another place. The uh, handlebar mounts, those lugs, I think I'm just going to whack those out of the way because I don't think a pair of Clubmans is going to work on here because of where these are mounted. Uh, probably end up doing clip-ons right here. And uh, I'm going to fabricate a uh, seat and tank out of fiberglass. I was looking at some online and they're like upwards of 400 bucks for like, you know, a really nice like Dunstall or uh, Royal Enfield style or the old Honda 750 Cafe racer, you know, long with the, uh, the knee divots right here and all that. So I think I'll just build my own and that'll be the next step here. But uh, this is it. Now we, got, uh, now we got it down to the bare bones. We can get started doing some custom stuff to this. And I'm going to leave the rear pegs on for now because, I don't know, maybe I'll, I might do rear sets, maybe not, it just depends. Rear sets would be kind of nice because they make your knees drop and your feet get back and you can really get down in that laid down racy cafe position. So I'll be right about here with clip-ons, I reckon. And if I leave the front controls, it kind of makes you a little tucked up in here. So for now, they're going to stay. That I may fabricate some rear set controls. Me, me, can't wait. All right, let's get started on that tank design first. One more thing before we go any further. That's the pile of stuff I just pulled off the bike in the last uh, couple of segments here. The tank, the seat, all that other stuff. It's all piled up here. I got a bathroom scale on the floor that I zeroed out to that pine board. And uh, let's take a look at just how much weight we have peeled off here. Get in a little closer. Look at that. 40 pounds. 40 pounds of junk I don't need. Well, I'm going to need a gas tank and a seat. But by the time I fabricate those again out of uh, fiberglass, I'll bet they'll weigh half of what they do now. The tank's pretty light. It may come in about the same. But uh, anyway, as I put things back on the bike now, I'll uh, weigh them and then when we're all done we'll see just how much weight I shaved off total and I'll venture to guess it'll be about uh, probably 30 pounds of stuff by the time I'm all done here. Here's my tank design. A uh, little bit of uh, Royal Enfield, a little bit of Dunstall here, kind of a mishmash of uh, influences from the two, the classic cafe tank. I did this in Adobe Illustrator and uh, printed it out on three pages and then put them together. So I'll get this cut out now and hold it up next to the bike and see what it looks like. And uh, then we'll go from there. Okay, let's take a look at what we've got going on here. There's a double top tube on this frame and it's pretty wide. So I'm going to have to bring the tank down below this top tube. So it'll actually just have some sections along the side here that probably won't hold much gas. The bulk of the gas will be in this section right here. I'd like it to come all the way back to here because right here is a mounting point with a bolt in it. And also right up here there are two 6mm bolts that go in the frame uh, where there were tabs on the stock tank that held it in. So if I can take advantage of those that would be great. So let's hold this up here and see what it looks like. On the, uh, on the bike. Yeah, I think we can pull that off. That's a pretty good shape. I like that. I take it up to where it's just behind the uh, triple tree, the pivot point there on the fork. 
and uh, I still have to keep in mind I have to have access to the uh, radiator cap. So I've got to work that out a bit. <clears throat> but that looks good. I like that right there. Um, so now the next step is to get this on some EPS foam so I can carve it out and then that's going to be my basically my plug for my fiberglass and then uh, when it's all done the way this will work out EPS foam can be melted with uh, acetone so you can make a plug out of EPS foam that's like you know cooler foam coffee cup foam that stuff uh, expanded polystyrene so you make it out of that you coat it with the fiberglass get it good and strong a few layers whatever you want do the things you'd like to do to it and then you get a hole in it you pour some acetone in it and it will eat out all of the foam on the inside. Just totally dissolve it. You just dump it out. It's kind of like a liquid polystyrene at that point. You give it a few rinses and all the stuff comes out of the inside. Then you've got this hollow fiberglass tank or whatever else you want to build for that matter. I've done this with uh, prototype intake manifolds in the past on some engine modifications I've done. So Anyway, now I'll get this on a piece of EPS foam get it up there, tape it in place, and get an idea where my knees hit against the tank so I can determine where I want to put the indents for my knees. This is cool. Bit of spray adhesive. Boy, it's cold out here. <laughs> you can really tell because this stuff doesn't spray as readily as it usually does. Now I could just cut this out around that shape. I've got two sheets of this uh, lightly stuck together. So I'm going to do them both at once. And you know, after the fact here, I realized that that spray adhesive eats into the EPS foam a little bit. So you have to watch out for that. I guess I could have just laid this on there and taped it in place and traced it out. But it's okay, it'll still work. Here we go. There we go. Well, I've got a line established here about where I think my knee divot has to go. Um, I'm going to jump on the bike now and see about where that ends up. I've got the bike all leveled out. I've pretty much got this down as far as I can get it. I had to reroute a few things. I'm going to have to make some uh, uh, provisions here for the uh, radiator cap, but that can happen later. So let's jump on here and take a look at what we've got going on. With my feet on the front controls, that's plenty of room right there. If I go rear, of course, it'll drop down a bit. But uh, I'm almost thinking that I can move this back just a little bit. So I'm going to put a second line there, uh, probably about here. This will just look a little nicer to keep it further back, I think. And it'll keep more gas in here because this will be wider. So I think right about there is where the, uh, the knee divot will start. And uh, for now, I think that's about it for this video on part one of the 85 Honda VF700S Sabre Cafe Conversion. Next time we'll uh, get going on fabricating this gas tank up. We'll get started on the seat and we'll move forward. I gotta get some more parts coming. I got a few things ordered now, but um, got to go shopping for some more. I need to get clip-ons and uh, some other goodies. Tires. These tires are junk. Got to replace those. Don't want to mess around with junk tires. So anyway, till next time, keep on hacking.